Hey guys, Delman here with another Mega Ships video for you. This one is on the Vanguard Hoplite, so let's do it. So let's read what it officially says here on the Vanguard Hoplite. The Vanguard Hoplite is a cross between the winning Vanguard Deep Space Fighter and a dedicated boarding ship. Adapting the reliable design for amphibious operations, the Hoplite is the perfect tool for inserting an armored strike team with enough firepower to get them out again. That's pretty cool, I really do like the, uh, the blurb there, the description is very cool. I do think the Vanguard Hoplite is amazing, as it is my uh, second favorite, well, third favorite ship in the game right now. I really do love the Hoplite. I'm going to try and get a hold of one when it goes on sale again. We'll soon see what happens, though. But yeah, I love the Hoplite. It's pretty cool. So let's continue here. Aegis Dynamics. Vanguard Hoplite. Designed September 09, 2945. Designed by Aegis Dynamics. Builder, Aegis Dynamics. Number produced. Redacted, production run, redacted, registration code AEVN4832, class multi role dropship, nickname Hoplite, status in production. Med bays, weapon racks, and other features provide equipment and operational support for combat teams on drops. The Vanguard Hoplite is a versatile multi-role fighter capable of safely delivering and extracting troops into the most dangerous of combat zones. Size 2 guns on the man turret, and size 4 gun on, as the main weapon on the front. The Vanguard Hoplite's slim silhouette is designed for minimized target acquisition from hostiles while maintaining the dropship's aggressive posture. Swept wings increase lift at low speeds. Keel-mounted gun found in other Vanguard loadouts. The longer, wider hull yields more lift at lower combat speeds. So, technical overview, key technical information. So, let's have a look here, guys. We have a focus of a dropship, that's what it's designed to do. Length 37 meters, mass 45,000 kilograms, max crew of two, that's the pilot and a gunner. Zero cargo capacity, now that's pretty important. Primary engines, two tier fours, maneuvering thrusters, we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve size two, or tier two maneuvering thrusters, two size two power plants. And we've got four size two fixed mounts and one size five. We have two size two pylon mounts, one size two man turret. And on top of all this, now this is really intriguing, we have got six size two shields. That's six size two shields. It's pretty powerful stuff. This thing is going to be a real tank and hard to crack open. So, I'll get into more details now. So, this is the part of the show where I talk about, you know, like how this ship's going to be used in the verse, how it compares to other ships of its class and whatever. So for $225, which is pretty expensive, it's pretty pricey. But at the same time, it is cheaper than a Redeemer, which is around $250. So let's look at the ship's uh, comparisons here. So yes, it doesn't have the cargo capacity of a Redeemer. Yes, it uh, only carries six guys from the looks of things. So you may be thinking to yourself, why would you get one of these over Redeemer? And yes, it doesn't have as much firepower as Redeemer, so what is the point here? Well, it's a tank. It is a literal tank. This thing is going to take a beating and get the hell out of there and deliver troops. No problem, that, that's fine. And then it'll leave and then it'll come back and draw, like pick them up and then leave again, all while under fire. No issues. Um... This thing is a monster. Its hull armor is ridiculously tough. It's a vanguard. Vanguards are designed to get in, take a beating, and get the hell out of dodge. This is a vanguard. Sure, it may have swapped out its modular rooms for a fixed dropship section, but 
that doesn't change the fact that it's still a vanguard. I mean, it's still a monster, it's still a tank, it's still beefy as all hell. But yeah, it's it's capable of carrying six troops, and you know, you'll definitely these troops are definitely in the safest of hands. This is definitely, in my opinion, one of the safest dropships. Sure, it may not have the firepower, the Redeemer. But I'm pretty sure if you were to fly into one, this ship would still be flying and the Redeemer would not be. This thing is really tanky, I cannot stress that enough. It's equivalent of a flying T-34 tank. Um, it mounts a ridiculous amount of shields for some crazy reason, but that just increases its tankiness. But its hull armor is what really, really defines this ship. It's a bit of a beefcake. But yeah, I really, really do love this ship. It is one of my favorites. For the sole reason, it's resilient, it's tough, it can do its job, and that is it. It is not designed to go and do other things other than its job. It is a dropship, true and true. It is not a cargo freighter, it is not a survey, uh, a survey vehicle, like it, it can't go down to plants and scan things. It is literally a dedicated dropship platform. It is the equivalent of the same thing from the movie Aliens. It's not designed to fill any other role and bring troops down or troops to the location that they need to be under extreme circumstances and then bring them back. That is it. That is the sole focus in the verse. And I love it. It's fantastic. Definitely in my top three ships of the game. Want to pick one up when I can. It is so cool. And uh, yeah, no, I, I absolutely adore it. It is a very cool ship indeed. Um, so yeah. There's not really much to say on this ship because of the lack of information other than it's a lot of fun to ride in one. Uh, one of my buddies has a, he was a, has a Redeemer and they gave him this as a loner ship. And we were all riding in the back at one point and uh, we had a bunch of guys from New York sat in the chairs. And we were going towards the Big Benny's Noodles, uh, what is it, they, they built like Stonehenge out of the noodles machines. We were headed there. And it felt like we were on some crazy mission when we just sat in the back of this thing. The ship was like creaking and wobbling, you know, like we're just talking to each other, looking at each other from the seats. And you can see the uh, the rests, they come down, the, um, the harnesses, they go up when they're not new. So when you sit in the chairs, they come down on top of your shoulders and hold you in place. It's so cool. I mean, you could be flying towards them. It's like, so, you know, like, uh, how far away are we? Oh, I'm not sure, you know, and this, like, whole thing shaking around. It's like, we're in the pack, 5x5, five five. express elevator hell, going down. It's so cool. I absolutely love it. I mean, it's one hell of an experience. Because um, this thing's in the verse right now, if you know someone that has a Vanguard Hoplite, try it out. Just fill it up with a group of friends and go on a mission somewhere. The journey is the most fun you'll have, I guarantee you. It is so realistic. But yeah, I absolutely love this ship. The uh, the Hoplite is so cool. I absolutely adore it. It is very much a fun ship. So, that about wraps it up for this episode. Sorry about the uh, length of the episode. There's just not much information on this ship I could scoop up. This is all the info there is. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Um, every bit of support helps. All the comments, I do read every single one of them. And thank you guys so much for the support. You rock. I really do appreciate it. Um, I see that many of you are enjoying the series and that means I'm doing a good job and that means I'll keep on doing this. So, we're near enough uh, rounding up the end of the series soon with a, only a couple more ships on the list here and then we're pretty much done with drop ships and then we'll be moving on to cargo freighters and then we'll jump back into the combat aspect with a fighter playlist which will probably go on for a fair bit because there's a hell of a lot of fighters in the game. So. Thank you guys yet again so much for watching. You guys are the best. You know the drill, Commanders. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.